Hi, my name is Thomas Eflin and I'm Professor of Jazz Brass at UNC Greensboro. Today I thought we would talk a little bit about inflections in uh, jazz brass playing. So if you play a brass instrument, whether it's a trumpet or a trombone, you kind of have the best of both worlds. You can play um, something kind of instrumental or virtuosic, you know, a fast run, or you could play something more akin to the human voice like this. Right? Both are at your disposal so that you can best express yourself in the moment. Um, and this tradition of using a brass instrument to, um, to imitate the human voice goes all the way back to the beginning of jazz. And when we think of the human voice, probably the first thing that comes to mind uh, is vibrato. When, when someone's singing, there's usually some kind of vibrato. So it's the same goes in jazz brass playing. Uh, there's really two ways to do a vibrato. There's the sort of old school method, which is the hand vibrato, which sounds like this. You know, the, the Harry Jameses of, of the big band era tended to use this kind of over the top vibrato. Uh, Louis Armstrong, he would do it to the point where it would actually hit the next partial. But this hand vibrato was kind of what, what you typically saw in the 1930s and, and you know, the, the swing era. Um, as uh, modern jazz came about, uh, vibrato kind of switched over to what we call now the jaw vibrato. And really it's just manipulating the pitch with your jaw or your, your oral cavity. And that jaw vibrato gives you a lot more freedom to create subtlety in your vibrato than the hand vibrato does. It has its limitations. So with the jaw vibrato, uh, and it's basically, uh, whereas the hand vibrato is just moving the horn towards and away from your face with your hand, the jaw vibrato uh, is using your, your jaw to manipulate the pitch of the sound. And you can, you can manipulate how fast your vibrato is, how slow it is, how wide it is, how narrow it is. So I could go from wide and slow to narrow and fast. I mean, you could, you could take it to the whatever extreme you want. But what that does is give you a lot more, again, subtlety in the way you manipulate your sound and the way you create your vibrato. So, you know, if you're playing a ballad, you can, you can get really soft uh, and really hone in on how you want to how you want to express yourself with the, with that vibrato. Um, so to get to get um, used to doing this, really just practice playing a note, a steady note, and trying to manipulate the pitch here. And at first, it'll be it'll be difficult to do. It's not as easily accessible as the hand vibrato is. But once you get control of it, you'll never go back. It's it's great. Um, some other ways we create a sort of vocal uh, inflection with just using pitch and nothing else is bends. And I'm not talking about really dramatic bends, I'm talking about subtle bends. So if I was to play a Louis Armstrong passage like this, it sounds kind of flat, right? It doesn't sound right. The, the, the notes are there, but something's missing. If I was to do this, Of course, I put a little vibrato in there, but I was also bending my, uh, my pitches up. And Louis Armstrong was, had this joyful, optimistic sound in the way he played that had, had to do with this kind of constant reaching upwards, this, this, this ascension all his notes had that was uniquely him. So every note was shaped, in other words. They, weren't, they were never flat, they were shaped. Um, other players might bend the note down. A Freddie Hubbard might do this. So there's all manner of ways you can you can manipulate the pitch to create interesting inflections in your playing. And the, the way to learn this is to listen and imitate. Listen to Im and imitate. Every player has his own unique way of doing this and you want to get as many variations as you can um, in your tool bag. So again, this is just pitch. We haven't talked about tonguing or 
using your valves or any other aspect of brass playing. So much can be done just with the pitch. So if you can get control over your pitch, uh, you will uh, already be a long ways towards sounding authentic as, as, a, as a jazz brass player.